Hi, ladies and gentlemen, you are watching and listening to Sipping Off the Cuff on Tequila Fish Auto Media. All of our channels and networks. I'm Mike Morales, again, behind the bar, behind the stick. That's 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 bartender speak for behind the bar, being behind the stick, because it's a stick here. And this gentleman here behind the stick with Alex me is... Alex Perez, here in Southern California. So, here we are at Alex's bar, and we, uh, we got gifted... Uh, another wonderful tequila. Alex, please do the, the, the honors. Hold this up. Look at the packaging on this thing. Number one, ladies and gentlemen. That's right. Alex Raimundo, who's one of the brand owners, along with uh, Ron White, also known as that? Tater Salad. Yeah, isn't that cool? The whole agave. The whole agave. And uh, there's uh, another gentleman, uh, last name is Aspie. And oh, check it out, how it looks like in the light. Yeah, yeah, you see the agave in the dark there, and you can only see it if the light hits it the right direction. That's see all the agave kills for this bottle. That's, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like the fuselage of a, of a B-1 bomber or something, right? Uh, Alex, uh, Alex Raimundo is also known as the Red Mexican, which I had the pleasure of, uh, yeah, you may need to uh, take it out. Take it out. Take Just break the seal. Untie it. There we go. Why don't you just untie it? Alex, it's well, a it's a tight. gold it's a gold silk, uh, um, yeah. It's a you, you're gonna have to just free it. I don't know. Use the jaws of life. <laughs> Alex Raymond. Dial nine one one. Dial nine one one. Hello, my phone's over there. Alex Raimundo, who is a, a world famous comic, Ron, we can't take it out of here. Ron White, Ron White, who is also the brand owner of this, and they, they, at one point they were related and they're best friends anyway and, and again uh the gentleman who made it right i had to untie it you had Sorry. to untie it. see i told you Sorry. You, had to untie it. you you've never untied anyone wow, that. <laughs> isn't that gorgeous number juan tequila and i got a chance to to, to meet uh alex um at one of his gigs in chino california ladies and gentlemen that was a treat let me tell you the guy is amazing you should go all go see him live Ron White, I have not had a chance to see live yet, but I'm hoping to. And um, this is one of the original, this is the original batch that they set apart. That's what it says on 3,000 liters. 3,000 liters only. They set this apart when, when they started number one. That means, that means Alex and Ron. And uh, up until this point, they've They've never tasted it. Aged for just under 10 years. 10 years. Yeah. Was it 9.6 years? 9.6. So Alex here, this is dipped in wax again. Uh, Alex has, carries a knife because, you know, I, I don't have a knife. And, uh, oh, you don't need a knife. Uh, I guess not. Well, this one's a little stickier. Thank goodness. Because the last, the last wax we had just kind of exploded all over us. Uh and we're gonna taste the goods. We're gonna we're gonna taste what a nine year. I've never had a nine year old. No, wait, wait a second. I can't say that. We have had a, a we've had extra añejos from uh, the bad stuff. We had a twelve year old doce, which you have the bottle of. That, oh, beautiful! That was beautiful. This is a nine, a little over nine and a half years old. So uh, I'm gonna have to take the knife. You have to take the knife. They did go surgical on this in this sucker. They go. He's had to go medieval. You know what it is? Is they have the plastic just under the the wax. Oh no, that's kidding! What it is. Oh, like a, well, that's smart. So it's it's wrapped in like a double seal. Okay, double seal. So we're so losing lose the we're wax. losing all the wax. That's okay. Actually, we can keep it. We'll keep it on the top. Yeah, we can keep it on, on the on the cap. And. What is there something special about a pop in a, in a, in a cork? Okay, I'm using oh, a wow. Stossel Jarrito for tequila because uh, I understand this is a what? A, it's an 80 proof, I hope. Correct? He didn't go barrel strength on this, did he? This is a. Uh, actually, I can't yeah. read it. It's yeah, 80 proof. 80 proof. Okay. So it's very, it's very similar to the bottle that you see for, for the regular line. Uh, yeah, here we go. Amazing. Oh my God! Really? Seriously? This is, we don't drink. The, yeah, it's cologne. It's it's aftershave. Look at the color on this, folks. Look how deep and dark this is. So this is almost ten years in the barrel. 
Does it tell us what kind of barrel they were aging it in? Because I know that Siempre has a similar color. This is even deeper than Siempre. Uh, but I'm not sure what kind of barrel that they were using for, uh, and they may or may not tell us on, on, on the information. It doesn't say. But it is a beautiful, deep, dark, uh, what do you call this, Alice? There's no red highlights in this, so so it, it it's more of a it's 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 really a dark. I want to say like a like a like a dark um, a dark amber, dark amber. Okay, it's almost like a copper. Well, not too much. Well, not copper. too much copper. That's what I'm saying. It's not very. Dark, dark it's amber. not brassy. A dark amber. Yeah, there's no there's no. I don't want to say it's got a, a brassy highlights because it doesn't. The nose is incredible. As soon as I opened up the bottle, it just came, oh, up, yeah. came right up. So you've got again, just just the roasted nuts and and dried fruit, dried fruit, and it, dried fruit, and it's opening up for us. You know, it's been sitting in my living room floor, sealed, dipped in wax. Okay, so there's no air got into this at all. So we're we're we're. Alex is using, by the way, his his Glencairn uh, a Canadian whiskey glass, which normally opens up. It, it it tends to open up your your beverage much quicker than my Jarrito, but I'm using a Jarrito for tequila. It's just divine. Well, There's a, a slight beverage. mintiness, but not overpowering. A slight nuttiness, but not overpowering. Yes. And dried raisin. Okay, I'm going for it. Mm. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> wow. <clears throat> um, much sweeter on the tail end than I thought it would be. Got some good heat too. I'm surprised. Yeah, it's uh, ten year old. But on the but on the um, uh, on the finish, it doesn't come. It doesn't. It, it's not a mid finish. palette because it goes in kind of silky. It does. And then and then you but you know you still have the the, the it just explodes the lip the, the lip numbness and the gum numbness. You got that, and then at mid palette, you get the more of the spiciness. I don't even want to call it pepper. I don't want to call it cinnamon. <clears throat> like a ginger. <clears throat> you know, ginger is kind of fresh ginger mm -hmm. is a little bit spicier. What's that about ginger? To me, it's more of a cinnamon. You think so? Mm hmm. Okay. You know, I'll yeah, buy I'm that. I'm getting this, the baking spices. Okay. Oh, and as it, is, it, is, it opens up, there's more mint. And you get a lot of that from the, from the older barrel. You know, you get the. the 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 mint or the menthol or or you know no, even eucalyptus mint. it's mint it's not necessarily eucalyptus but it can be now it's opening up i'm getting a little bit more leather <clears throat> i'd venture to say i might even get tobacco in it if it's op if it opens up a little bit more for me You know, I love the, the backbone spiciness that it has, even though it's a 10-year-old. Because usually a lot of that is muted. Yeah. Um, you know, there's a there's a there's a unwritten rule that says the longer tequila sits in the barrel, the less it starts to taste like tequila. I will say that this has got a different flavor profile. If you didn't know this was tequila, what would you call it, though? Because I know it's tequila. I mean, it's still. I think it still has a, a characteristic <clears throat> that that de, that delineates it, that, that differentiates it from from a bourbon or a whiskey. This has got to be a whiskey barrel, though. I think. I think it's a whiskey barrel, but I with, with the beauty of it, you're still getting the agave notes coming through. I think so. I'm getting I'm something. Getting you're getting it, okay? I I believe that. See, because it doesn't taste like. I've had, you know, you and I have had uh, aged spirits where it tastes like something other than agave. Now we've had that, uh, we've had the twelve-year-old, we've had a seven-year-old together, we've had a five-year-old, I think, and and because we know the master distiller, 
we know that they were primarily agave growers, and so that even even at the twelve year old, it was there was agave in it. And now it's getting to the point where I think that the more of these deliberate agings uh, spirits of tequila still still retain an agave characteristic that in the past you didn't get. I, I can tell you who told me that anything over five or seven years old uh, would taste like anything but tequila. And I think it's because they were after the whiskey market. Yeah, I, I do too. Now, I think now they have separated themselves where they are more confident and just pushing out. I think so too. Putting out, presenting tequila. I don't know if I did this with you, this review. I think I did. Herencia, uh, not Herencia Mexicana. It was uh, Herencia, Herencia del Señor, probably, from, the, from Tequilas del Señor. And it came in a, in, a, in, a, in a bottle, in a wooden box with a riddle. And it was from Tequilas del Señor, the distillery there, which makes, don't, used to make Dos Lunas. They aged theirs in a five-year-old, and then they came out with a seven-year-old. And then once they got older than that, it didn't taste anything like tequila. Their five-year-old is right on. And this was, I was still living in New Mexico. This was back in the day, right? Um, so I would say, you know, over eight, 16 years ago, maybe, 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 maybe less than that, you know, somewhere within that. Um, and yeah, they were right. You know, anything over a five-year-old, the seven-year-old didn't taste anything like the five-year-old. This still tastes like, like there's tequila in it. Yeah. The agave is coming through. Wow. Beautiful. Wow. Well, definitely, hands mm. down, hands down. Brand of Promise nominee, Brand folks, promise. in the extra Añejo category. Hecho en Mexico. This is, this is Alex Raimundo, Ron White, uh, and Mr. Beautiful Espy, bottle. who made this happen. Beautiful packaging. Very well done. Just gorgeous. Right of promise package, packaging. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Of course. Of course. Look at that. Yeah. Magnetic, again. I mean, you know, the... the and I believe that is the... If I'm not mistaken, this is, this is uh, 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 Alex's relative, I believe. I believe. I could be wrong. I'll have to ask Alex. Uh, no. Alex Raimundo. Next time he's in town, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna hang out with him. Beautiful. Uh, by the way, if you're in Vegas or if you anywhere where these guys are at, you know, like Ron or Alex, go visit, go see them. Uh, they're worth it. They're funny. They're hysterical. You've seen Ron on on TV. You've seen you've seen Alex on TV. Um, Alex is even funnier in person. I gotta tell you, uh, Alex Raimundo is a piece of work. Let me tell you. You know that he came out. It's a funny story. He came out to do his set in Chino, California, in a bottle of, of their Añejo, right? And and through the whole act, he's he's sucking on this bottle. And, right, and me, I'm thinking, oh, this is fake. He's, he's, it's caramel coloring. He, you know, it's it's part of the act, right? Because it's yeah, part yeah, of the yeah, act. Yeah, yeah. I would think Ron White, Ron, if you've seen Ron, he, he puts his, his rocks glass on a stool and it's like part of his thing. And he'll go back to his, you know, his TV show and he'll pour some more and he's got a cigar going and he's doing his act. Alex will suck on the bottle. After the set, when it's all over, and I'm sitting up front, right, right in front of the stage, and Alex bends over and he introduces me, nice guy. Uh, he bends over, shakes my hand, and I go, are you okay? And he says, no. And... And I can smell it on his breath, and I go, wait a minute, dude. So now he pours me a snifter from the glass that he's been sucking on, or from the from the bottle he's been sucking on. And I, and I, and I, go, I, I go, dude, this is real? He goes, oh, yeah, I never lie. D Every time you see him with a bottle of this stuff, it's real. So, um, you know... Kudos to that guy, because there's no way I could stay. He went through the whole act. Like, you know, he, yeah, let's, let's put it this way. If there was an earthquake in Chino, he'd be the only guy walking straight. <laughs> I'm telling you, I don't know how he did it. 
But yeah, we polished off the end of that bottle myself and, and after his act and he was sharing it. And I went and got a snifter at the bar and I said, this is how we're going to do it. I'm not sucking it out of the bottle. But this is, I was surprised it was, was real. Don't let him suck this down, okay? Don't let him do that. Um, but that's our take on, on number one. The number ex- one. Number one. 116 number months, 9.6 years. What a winner. What a brand. Of, yeah, another one Another one close to your heart. That's our take. If you've been watching us on YouTube, uh, please Hecho subscribe. Hecho in Mexico. Uh, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Give us a like because, you know, that helps on the algorithm because it sends this video out into the the the, the YouTube algorithm. The YouTube uh, universe. The YouTube universe. It and makes you feel good, too. Well, yeah, you know, because, you know, sub- we want you to subscribe. We want you to follow us, okay? Because we're good at what we do. Um, and yeah, and what you know, and hey, yeah, yeah. What the hell? We've been around for a while. We've been around 23 years, folks. That's why we take our time the way we do. That's why we both say the same thing sometimes. It's really scary. Wow. I don't know how we do that. Yeah, wow. 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 Um, but that's our take. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for leaving a comment. <laughs> Whatever you do. Whatever you do, always sip wisely.